Well, it's me again, and uh, I'm planning to uh, uh, continue the, the build work on the power wall. Um, it's a lovely sunny day outside. Uh, uh, tomorrow's Friday, it's Thursday evening. I've got the day off. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, doing a bit of camping tomorrow. Maybe uh, get a couple of videos up then. Um, but uh, the key thing is, 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 is getting on with this um, big battery box so uh, so there I was thinking yep yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make uh, make a box out of wood uh, found some wood in the shed but started marking it up and then found this a fantastic pre-made box upstairs in one of my spare rooms so here is said box comes with a nice piano hinge, a couple of clasps on the front of it, it's all made out of decent wood, well relatively decent wood. Um, so what I want to do now is uh, fit this um, reclaimed meter and uh, start to install a whole bunch of these batteries. I've also got some switches coming in the mail uh, we're uh, we're waiting for those uh, in a day or two. Hopefully they should be here. Here we go. All right. So we're going to be using a, um, a Spirit Jackson uh, Predator saw, coming a few different uh, pitches. Here, this is a 10 ppi pitch. So. There's 10 blades uh, in one inch, 10 teeth, sorry, in one inch. There's a few different varieties, some are rough cut, um, you know, uh, seven or five uh, blades per inch, but uh, this one is, uh, this one is 10. Uh, uh, works, works perfectly for, um, for finer, slightly finer work. I could use a hacksaw or something, but um, this, this, this should do just fine. Okay, and um, here we have a Stanley chisel. And as you can see, this bad boy is uh, quite well used. Still has his cover on. Always keep your cover on your chisel. And don't over rev it. I say this has been well used, my goodness. Uh, yeah, needs a bit of a sharpen. So, great news. Here we have a slightly broken sharpening block. So let's go ahead and uh, sharpen that chisel. The, uh, the key thing really is to make sure that the angle is good. So, I'll just uh, I'll just work on sharpening that, and uh, we'll get the rest of the movie fired up in just a second. All right, great news! I believe I have now sharpened my chisel. It's uh, it's not quite um, shaving sharp, but it's uh, it's sure getting there. One thing you can do, little trick, if you have a piece of glass uh, kicking around, it really helps uh, remove any slight burrs that uh, might have been left by the sharpening process. Okay. Let's give her a quick test out. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's uh, that's doing just fine. So what we're going to do now is um, go along the line with the blade of the chisel.
what this does is it, uh, it helps um, it helps give you a bit of a guide as to where uh, as to where you're coming. And then we'll we'll put you in time lapse mode, and um, we'll use the chisel to uh, to go ahead and make a hopefully a relatively clean cut down here. I do have a Dremel to tidy things up afterwards, but uh, I'm just making sure I've got a really good um, a really good line in there. All right. All right, so um, it's about time to do a bit of dremeling. I've made a, I've made a decent uh, impact, but um, we should be able to just check and we can see, yep. Should be able to get this dremeled up. This is a Dremel 3000. That might be a bit noisy. I'll switch to time lapse. So, as you can see, we're starting to make some progress here, and uh, I'm quite looking forward to the end result. This is going to be uh, quite a beast of a, of a power supply um, I think we're gonna have two of them mm, two 12 volt devices and uh, yeah I think uh, we're gonna have some fun with this